we have traveled just over 6,000 miles of our 14,000 mile trip and we have now arrived at the Canadian border. With a few questions answered and things, we have uh, made it through the border and went through New Brunswick. We stayed in St. John for the night with our final destination being Prince Edward Island. Hi everybody, welcome to Canada. Prince Edward Island, P.E.I. Yes. We have <laughs> entered Canada and we went across New Brunswick over to uh, P.E.I. So we are now on Prince Edward Island. This is Tigner Adventures. My name is David. <laughs> this is my wife, Ninette. Hi. And <laughs> we have entered Canada and will be here for the next two months. <laughs> checking things out uh, we will actually be on PEI for five nights and if any of you guys know anything about <laughs> Prince Edward Island the, what the big draw is it's right behind it's us Anne of Green Gables Anne of Green Gables <laughs> yes so this is where the writer lived and wrote her story yep so it's all based ago. on this there was 1808 is when she wrote the book wow yeah no, 1908. Sorry, 100 years. <laughs> Just so, give or take 100 there's years. There's <laughs> very few places on the island where they actually film the um, TV series or yeah. the movies. Yeah. Uh, but uh, there's a few places. Yeah. But it was all based on this area. Yes. And the author's name was Lucy Maud. And, and uh, yeah. she lived it's a, here. It's so. a 150 year celebration this year. Pretty wow, cool. and we're here. Yeah. <laughs> and, Let's go uh, look. <laughs> so anyway, so that's our entry into Canada, and we're yeah. going to check out this visitor center behind us and some of the different sites to see on yeah. PEI. Oh, I think I only got part of her name. It's actually Lucy Maud Montgomery. Montgomery. And, uh, you know, she passed away back in 1942, and uh, her books were pretty much an instant hit. And actually, she Actually, that was her first book she wrote. Yeah, and that's really kind of made uh, PEI in a lot of ways. Okay, we're going to go into the visitor center and check things out. All right, we have entered the park now. Here's the sign on the different prices. That's uh, six dollars for seniors, seven and a quarter for uh, adults. And then if you want to go down the road to a whole nother site, you can go to the author's home. We're just doing the rendition of the book is basically what we're doing, or the movie. Uh, and that's what we're seeing right now. They have a section here that all about the author from when she was just a child and all the way around until her final sayings for her book. There was eight different novels. Here is one of her typewriters she bought new. Could you imagine typing a novel or multiple novels <laughs> on just a small typewriter like this? So just days after publication, and Green Gables went into second printing. In the first year, there were 10 printings. Huh. I know. It's like, wow. wow. So there's been a few different uh, movies made of Anne of Green Gables now, and also some TV series and things. The ones that we remember the most and have the, all the videos for is the one starring, uh, I think it's pronounced Megan, but like Megan, Megan. Fallows. Yeah. And, uh, that was the one that uh, we watched and the videos that we, that we own. own. Uh, Our so, son gave them to us. Yes. It's kind of yes. interesting that it uh, became popular so fast and it's just been, I mean, it's a good show. And it's a, it's a, it's it, it, was, it was really cute and we, we've enjoyed it uh, several times. Nyant likes to watch it often. Well, I haven't seen it for years. We were trying to find it I know, it but when, we, it. when you first got it, we were, it seemed like we were always watching it. And then our oh, son bought yeah. it and he really liked it. So anyway, it's been Here's fun. This is the house that was portrayed that she lived in and grew up in once she came to live here. Remember, she was an orphan. So the author didn't live here, but the author visited here and based the book on this house that belonged to uh, her. I guess it was their grandparents. They've done a really good job with maintaining it. Huh. 
So once you visited a place like this, and it kind of makes you want to go back and watch the movie so you can kind of see <laughs> what's really changed over time because it uh, definitely was a little different um, on some of those shows and stuff. They didn't do the video or the movie here because they would have had to taken out some of the walls to be able to <laughs> get the cameras in there and everything. So, but you know Hollywood, they make they make everything look like someplace. <laughs> so it looked like this, but it wasn't yeah, physically it here. All right, we are headed out to the haunted woods. It's got this nice stairway. 2019, this uh, visitor center was put in. They do have some signs here that talk about the uh, area here. It's always interesting to see things in real life and then compare them to, you know, Hollywood <laughs> and how they change things to uh, whichever way, but they're usually a little different. And uh, so it's interesting to kind of compare the two. And Ryder came out to these woods and would get inspiration. Yeah, and so. that's what she did. So yeah. that's uh, where this came from as far as being the haunted woods. Well, it was in the show also. <laughs> well, I know, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but it was based on this. this these were the haunted woods. I guess. <laughs> to her, yeah. So it kind of makes it, once you've gone through here, it kind of makes you want to go back and watch the movies again. Yeah, we really wanted to, but, um, and our son did give us the, the VHS first ones. And then when the DVDs came out, he gave us the whole set again, because he loves the movies also. And we went to go get them, to find them, and to, to watch them, but I've actually let him keep them safe at his house. So yeah, we, we don't have them with us, so. We couldn't watch it ahead of time, but after seeing this, we'll have to go back and watch it. All right, we're checking out Lover's Lane. This is out behind the house, and they also have plaques along this trail too. So no place moved Montgomery more than the simple path through the woods and fields, but really nice forest areas to just go out and enjoy nature. This is a nice little hike through the woods. Nice little stream on the right, the bird scene. <laughs> I guess that's why they called it Lover's Lane. Well, this is pretty. We've now left uh, Ann's house, and this is uh, supposed to be the, uh, what? Lake of Shining Waters. Lake of Shining Waters, yeah. So, anyway, we're just doing a little walk in here. The, yep, the dune lands are behind us, and also over on the left here is the, the Atlantic Ocean, so. This is weird, uh, having the ocean and then, like what, 100 feet? And then a lake. A lake, yeah. So the official name of this pond is McNeil's Pond, also known as the Lake of the Shining Waters. It's always say, windy. <laughs> it seems to always be windy here, but we are right on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean. And you're not allowed to be on the dunes here, so they have a boardwalk here that takes you out. But see, here's the Atlantic Ocean right here. But this is Cavendish Beach. Few brave souls. I can just imagine that water is pretty cold. Well, it's pretty windy out here, but that is the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. That's how close we are. <laughs> so, pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, what? We're at the very end of June. And it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's still, still cold. We've got our jackets on and it's been uh, raining pretty much every day. We talked to a couple other people and they said that they've been here a week and it's rained every day. So I think that's mm -hmm. just uh, something that that's you expect. Island. Yep, that's how it works <laughs> on an island. <laughs> this is where it all started, the Kensington train station. The member, uh, Matthew, came and talked to the station master and said, when's the train coming in? The mas train master said the train has come and gone and they left a little girl for you. That happened to be Anne of Green Gables. Here is the Green Gables post office that Anne would go to to find her mail. Supposedly this is where Anne went to church, but there's several of them around town that are shown as the church that Anne went to. If you don't believe in giving, praise the place is overdue. And we just top everything off with Anne and Gilbert serenading us. You know there's more to PEI besides just Anne of Green Gables, so maybe we have to get a shirt. We got <laughs> several shirts here. And with the conversion to US, 
good price. They're not too bad of a price. Good for us. So this is, uh, what was it, fifteen ninety five? Yep. So anyway, so it comes out to about 11 bucks, 12 bucks, I don't know, something like that. Well, we are on another ferry. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we are leaving PEI. We have had a lot of fun here. And we are headed to uh, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. Yep. So <laughs> there's two ways to get onto the island. Ferry mm -hmm. and a bridge. And getting on is free. Getting off. Getting off, <laughs> they charge you. It's not so free. <laughs> <laughs> the bridge costs about, for the mo our motorhome, uh, our length and everything is about $80. That's just... Huh? roughly guessing because the ferry was supposed to be 138 but when we got the tickets it was 158 so not really sure didn't really add up to what it was on the website so the bridge could have been a little bit more but then if we went across the bridge we had about a two hour drive to get to where we're going to be so by the time we drive you know it was going to be like 80 90 dollars in gas so uh, it was pretty much a wash as far as money wise and it saves us a couple hours of driving today and we have a long driving day today so we are going into Nova Scotia and That's so nice, cool we'll day. continue on from there but uh, mm -hmm. hopefully you've enjoyed your time on PEI with us we got to see we a have. bunch of Anne and Green Gable things <laughs> yeah. we got to go on some really fun uh, bike, bike rides uh, nice trails nice trails we're right on the uh, Atlantic Ocean so right next to the beach so there's the tone. <laughs> well, okay, we finished our safety briefing. That was quite long, and they also do it in French, which that was, was interesting. And that seemed longer, <laughs> but uh, it's probably because we don't understand what they're saying. But uh, anyway, we had a lot of fun, and yes. um, we're excited for the next portion of the trip. So hopefully, uh, you guys had fun too, and uh, we'll just plan on seeing you down the road somewhere. And if not, then on our next video. So you guys take care. Bye. <laughs>